also what we got out of our trip with you is realizing that um, for these things to reach maybe other um, other places in the world that are so deeply inspired by and impacted by the structures, the political or social or ecological structures that were formed out of out of um, very difficult negotiations here, that they can't be easily exportable unless you actually begin something as simple as a dialogue between people you normally won't be in dialogue with. And so that He's that crazy. is. <laughs> um, so, so I mean. But I think what I seem to get out of that is that um, unless we're willing to have that confrontation, you you won't be yeah. able to produce these kinds of structures. And so that became maybe the single most exportable thing that you you could be able to bring to the many planner policymakers that are coming from international places to study this area and to understand how they're able to operate in the way that they can. They're not, they're not the scientists. They don't ever claim to be the scientists, and yet they, they're, a, they're such an attractor of many things that it's I only going it's... to catalyze, it's only going to catalyze other connections that become the affordances of, of something as simple as paying attention to the commons. They feel like the two least likely people on the planet to be environmentalists. <laughs> yeah. uh, like Captain Bill, it, it, it doesn't feel, there's nothing about a standard environmentalist in that guy. Um, you know, so even that's really interesting in, in terms of this place, that they're not... And they'll know, be the first to admit it. Yeah, he grew mm -hmm. up here. You know, he grew up right here in Secaucus, and that's where his interest comes from. It doesn't come from, uh, you know, because you wouldn't even recognize this as quote unquote nature coming from somewhere else 30 years ago. This was, you know, such a destitute place. 